Guys, we're here at Tri-County Seafood down in Cordell, Georgia. We're fixing to eat some good seafood, talk about some knives, trade knives. So uh, we're going to go in there and have a good old time. And I just want to thank y'all for being here, and I hope you enjoy the video. Guys, we are here at Tri-County Seafood in Cordell, Georgia. This is Matt Helms, knife crazy himself. It's always uh, a pleasure to watch his, the videos, him and Crawford. Uh, Crawford has Carolina knives. Y'all be sure to check out Knife Crazy and Carolina knives. Uh, but he is here visiting his dad, Wade, and we got our buddy Eric here. So I'm gonna be filming Mr. Matt and Eric. And uh, if you want to check out the second part of the video, go to Knife Crazy because he's gonna be filming me and Mr. Wade on our knife. So, so what'd you bring today, Mr. Matt? Ooh. As y'all like to put it, I think he started the word high-powered knives. Yeah. I got a couple high-powered knives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's see. Well, let's start out with this one here since this first on the table. Have y'all ever seen this guy here? No, sir. This is a Microtech. You know, I'm just starting to learn about them. They, they call it the uh, Feather, I believe it's called, because it's very lightweight. And, uh, Can I see it? Yeah. Hmm. Have y'all ever seen that, Eric? No. Hey. That's a mean little machine, ain't it? Wow. The way the clip is, it's got the big clip. You can do a pocket, pocket clip, a uh, belt, uh, anywhere you want it, sideways, you know, any way you want it. Yeah. And of course, you know, that's made for one thing. Uh, have you seen it? <laughs> as a defense. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick Have you seen it? I like that sheath too. I call knives. So, what is that something like that run, man? Oh, it's about uh, two, 225 ish. Wow. That little guy. It's a lot of machine. Yeah, if it's got Microtech on it, it's not cheap. Yeah. Let's see, what else we got? Here? I call her a knife like that a pig sticker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I wanted to give you this. I, went, I was going through some pins the other uh -uh. day. Uh-uh. And I found another one that you didn't have from an old blade show. So this is a uh, pair of three. Well, I be dog. Yeah. So now I've got three. Three different ones. Now, what year was this one from? Oh, you remember? I can't remember. It was. I've been so to, cool. I think my first one was 2016. I did 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 2020, they didn't have one. I didn't know it, but you actually worked up there at oh, some yeah, blade yeah. shows. Yeah. Yep, I worked at uh, KME uh, Knife Sharpening okay. for a while. See, okay. I didn't see them up there this time. Uh, they were in the smaller room. Oh, okay, yeah, I never yep. did make it over there. Yep. They, uh, they missed a couple years, uh -huh. and um, then they, they got their spot taken from them. Okay. They were in the big room. I got you, okay. And then these. What the, oh, my God. Can you believe that? That is so cool, man. Thank you so much for I, that. I was going through a bunch of pins and I was like, wait a minute. I know somebody would want those. Yeah. <laughs> At the USMC? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, buddy. I love that. Appreciate that, no Matt. Problem. Let's see. Well, I also got, got something for you, too. You might as well do it right here. Oh, wow. That's a, a, I'll, I'll let you see it. Right. Cleaned it up this week. Yellow composition uh, doctor's knife. Yeah, yeah. 2012, I think it is. Single blade. I like single blade knives. Yeah, I don't have a trap. Uh, a, a, I don't have a trapper lot for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, I think yeah. you got them all. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I think you got them all. Uh, I, I, there's still a lot that I need, but yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Any of you guys out there watching? Yeah. <laughs> I collect trapper lots. Hit yeah. me up. He does. <laughs> Thank you very have much. You're welcome, bud. Yeah, that'd go good. I got a uh, nice stag one that I've. Uh, yeah, from him is yeah, beautiful. I, saw I mean, that, that stag, you've seen it? I've seen it. It's oh, that nice. stag is, it's got to be an inch thick on the back. And it's, it's yeah. about the thickest stag yeah. I've ever seen. I know it's it is. It's, like really? nice. it's, a, it's a beauty. And I couldn't bring everything today, <laughs> so I was just trying to keep it short and sweet. Let's go with uh, the Demco. Ooh. This is called the AD20. Of course, American made. That's, that's all I have. We'll take a look at it. Yes, sir. Now, what, what, what handle material is that? That is G10, uh, flat dark earth, FDE. I love that color. Yep. It's earth tone. And that is, uh, I don't know if you've ever held one, but that's uh, called the shark lock. So let me show you real quick how that works. If you pull back. Oh, yeah. And it's just very easy. So, very cool, man. You you know more about it than I do. That would be a good time to show this one along with that. Beautiful. Have you seen that, Eric? Mm. Demco. Wow. And while he's looking at that, here's another Demco. Um, this is a Taiwan version. This is called the AD20.5. I like that. So though. they made it a little smaller. It's carbon fiber. 
but it's made in Taiwan, which is the price is, is somewhere around 200 ish or something. Now, what does that one run? Uh, 450, 500. Wow. Yeah, uh, big difference. Uh, now, that is a, like a sheep foot blade, ain't yep, it? Yep, sheep foot. Why do I'm starting to dig these little sheep foot, foot blades, blade, yeah. like the, the main blade is a sheep foot. Mm -hmm. I really like that. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful cool. knife. Just pull straight down. The, uh, yeah. Finger. It's made Taiwan, eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, it, there's no push is, is this your knife? That's fine. Yeah. Well, you see a piece of leather in the end of it. Matt don't do the leather. That's really cool. I can't get him to, to put a piece of leather on this. <laughs> this is uh, a Curtis F3. A Curtis F3. And it's the large, they call it. Um, this is one of his older designs. All titanium. Wow. Frame lock. That is. It ain't got no leather in it, man. No leather. You ain't gonna see no leather on mine. Um, I'm not. You'll see. I, I take that back. You'll see one here in a minute. It's got a little leather string on it with a bead on it. Now, what does something like this cost? Uh, about eight fifty. Oh my god! My <laughs> goodness! I like that. The, the yeah, that's how I, I like that. Uh, the jipping on the blade. Yeah. The back of the blade right there. Mm. You're talking about titanium, but titanium handles, yeah, all titanium, that. Titanium, wow. all bearings. Wow. And that's another, that, oh, he calls that the that. Uh, Warren Cliff. That's that Warren Cliff blade. Uh -huh. Where do you learn about all these knives? I've just been, I started, it, it is a, um, it's a great hobby to be in, but it is a very addictive hobby. Yeah. Um, glass, you button. can go from you're awesome at one time i thought a spider co paramilitary oh, too cool. look at that special was, clip yeah, yeah. That, that, was that clip probably knife. cost uh -huh. and i finally got oh, one yeah. how much you know 150 180 dollars for a knife how and, much and was that that's i'm talking yeah how much was the special clip yeah, the uh, that, that came with it that's my oh that came with it okay yeah. I, I figured you had to see that, that's his uh design there and who's that's the knife maker's sign yeah. a design very cool and let's see here this is a Dyerware brand, obviously all made in the USA, all titanium, all hand done here to make all that, uh, that artwork. That color I guess you call is it. wild, man. Mm -hmm. It changes colors, don't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's uh, the anodizing that they do on there. Okay. And as you see here, this uh, Bama Steel Damascus clip matches this pretty blade here that you're about to see. Oh, my God. And, and what kind of knife is this? This is a Dyerware. Dyerware. And it's called the uh, Tail Whip 2. You actually dire wear tear whip too. Now what what does something like that cost? Um with the clip, the clip was about $135 extra because it didn't come with it. That puts this probably around sixteen hundred. Oh my god. That is <laughs> wicked, man. That is crazy. Beautiful. Yeah that I might I might add just something on this and and because because I know Wow. Check that thing out here. You get this mm -hmm. of nine. beautiful Damascus. You don't hardly ever pay that full price. Well, I mean, when you're in that world on Instagram and YouTube and all that, you get to know a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of trading. Like, yeah, you know, like trading goes on. Even yeah, yeah really kind of like we do. been a sixteen hundred dollar knife, but. Now, so and so's ready to get this one over here, so he's going to yeah, let I'll, that one I'll, go I'll for eight hundred. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it for a thousand or twelve hundred. Yeah, and there you go. whatever, because I want to spend, you know, I want money for Blade Show or whatever. You know? Yeah. yeah. Even the clip is demanding. Uh -huh. yeah. Wow. That's why I said the clip came about this color I here. I like that pen on the head, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, right. it, was, it was not thick like that. This is called a milled clip, where the other one's a very thin uh, kind of spring clip, they call okay. it, like a spider coat clip or something like that. <laughs> this is impressive there. And one of my favorite, um, last but not least, oh, well, not last, I got a couple in my pocket. For sure. This is a, uh, you might have heard my dad say it a couple of times on the video, um, the Sergei Rogovitz. This is one of the, his knives. Holy moly. That thing is beautiful, man. And all, all hand done. Those, those bullet holes, uh, and all the work is all done. Wow. Is that one or the one of a kind? Is that a Tonto? Uh, no, a this is a Warren Cliff. Warren Cliff. That would be reverse Tonto, you know, whatever. But, yeah. Is that a one of a kind custom? Yeah. Yes. There, but one of them. Now, what is this run here? Uh, that's that's in that same uh, 1500, 1600 range. Check it out, yeah. And if you look at the back spacer in it, Backspacer matches the blade material also. Oh, wow. 
This is wicked. Beautiful. I love that, that copper. Yeah, right and, uh, they call that the uh, pivot collar. And then they put the holes in it and put the copper in oh, yeah. inside. Oh, yeah. Yes. That just makes the uh, Damascus pop. Yeah. Don't and that, that, that kind of Damascus is called armored core Damascus, as you can see. If you look down the uh, spine here, look down right there. You see how the middle of the line that there's a different oh, yeah. layer of steel inside of there yeah. so they layered the damascus in with regular steel and that's how the end of the blade has no damascus on it down at the so the edge is a different steel than the damascus wow that's awesome heavy too ain't it Eric? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you can see that uh what i'm talking about if you look at the back spacer down the center you see how you can see that different layer down the middle oh yeah yeah, that's, great, that's, that's what makes that shiny edge here. That's, that's a regular steel. I mean, that's like that's, a work of art with mm -hmm. all that yeah. Absolutely. embellishment. And all of his knives is like a work of art. Um, I call it jewelry. Yeah. This same man he's makes, done, actually done, makes jewelry. Does he really? And watch his bands and stuff. And what's that name again? That is Sergei Rogovitz, and that is the Model 17. Model 17. Model 17. Wow. That's so cool, man. So that is art, and what yeah. that is art design. Yeah. And let's see, two more in my pocket here. I pull this guy. Out. This is more traditional world. And uh, I heard you start to step toward that way. Is that I true? Am, I am. <laughs> this is a knife crazy slip. Yeah, I have one of those in my pocket. Uh, me too. And uh, the same knife. Oh, yeah. So how you like that? <laughs> it, I've off. had one before. I think uh -huh. you got one one time. Yeah. And I ended yeah. up with it. And I ended up trading it back to you maybe for something. I can't yeah. remember. But, but the price that they had. I $49. Yeah, I, I and it's a well-made knife. Let's check out this uh, Oh, I know. This bead. I love that. I'm going to have to get the contact for that because yeah. I like to get me oh, some. that's got knife crazy on the bead. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. damn up, man. Yeah, that's why I put the leather slip. Uh, the you need to leave that with me. Lanyard on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, just anybody knows where these come from. RDS uh, Blade uh, works on Instagram. You can check him out there. I will. He does all that. I have to get me some made because yeah. I'm all about them. I'm like Wade. Yeah, I, I to need one with my doctor on it and one with my crazy on yeah. it. And last but not least, this is a, a carry knife for me. So this is a Hinder XM18. Is that uh, uh, what what handle material? That is uh, Carta. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. And what's something like this for Um, if you if you can get one, they're right around four twenty-five. Okay. Um, the hinders are very hard to find right now, so when a batch comes out, they sell out pretty quick. And look at that edge on that blade. Yeah, Man, it's pretty. I, I done that. Did you? You did that? Mm -hmm. You shined it up like yeah. that? Wow. That uh, KME sharpening system that you have. Uh -huh. Uh, you got to buy some extra things with it to be able to get an edge that shiny, but wow. that, that system will make an edge like that. I'm going to start using it once I get over, and I just don't have the room. the mirror polish? Mirror edge. You can actually see yourself in that. I picture, saw it. Really. I saw it. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. The, um, you got your regular stones that, like you have, and then uh -huh. they have what they call a lapping film set, which is little films that goes up to 160,000 grit. Oh, my goodness. And goodness. it's just yeah, one right thing. You just keep doing it, doing it, doing it until you get that shiny. Wow. Yeah, it sure is. Look at that. You can see yourself in it. It's a mirror edge. Uh, I'm not even going to try to touch it. <laughs> My finger might fall down on the table. <laughs> <laughs> but that is it. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, Matt. I appreciate you you're coming down here, too, and finally yeah. getting to, to meet yes, you. I'm, I'm, I felt like um, every time I watch the videos that I'm here. Uh -huh. you know, well, good. And I'm well, actually good. here. Well, Thank good. you for the knife. Too. You're welcome, bro. You're go welcome. right next to them, uh, the doctor's knife. And my wife actually collects doctor's knives, too. Is she really? So, um, well, she I said, heard. She I said, think... I might end up with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, I had heard something that you kind of like to get them. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know why, but now I do. Yeah. So yeah. good. Good. Yeah. The, uh, but all of the, I've always been more fond of definitely traditionals is uh -huh. single blade. Uh-huh. So, I a lot you. of the, you know, two and three, four. All those, a lot of those knives are nice. I like them. I collect them. I have a lot, a lot of them because of him. But yeah, my my favorite ones are their single blade ones. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, and Mr. preferably lock backs, right? Preferably yeah, a lock back. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I like the trapper lock single blade. I got you. It's more. It's kind of a mix of the the new world it and is. old traditional. It looks like a traditional case, but it has a thumb stud, yeah. a lock, yeah, and a single blade. You don't blade. find those hard to open. Uh, no. Okay. No, you're not. They're not made to. Yeah. Quick flip. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just I don't know something. My thumb will act right on them or something. I don't know. <laughs>
what you got, Mr. Eric? Well, since we got Matt here, an authority on modern style knives, I've got some of these that I got. They, they're, they're Chinese knockoffs. Okay. But I want you to tell me how you can tell. This is like a Strider. Yep. And it's got all the markings and everything on it. I mean, I don't know enough about the real ones to be able to tell them apart. I've had about, I don't know, five or six real ones. I don't have any real ones. Um, I, I got them in, I traded them off. Um, I just what? like the looks of it, the way it works, you know. Yeah, there's a... Um, okay over here? Yeah, I appreciate it. You can kind of tell uh, if, you, if you had a real one, you'd really notice the difference. Just, just the quality difference and everything else. Um, there was always, I don't know about the fake one here, no? Fake one's not doing it. A lot of the striders... Um, they, they get lockstick um, because the titanium, a lot of knives get lockstick because, you know, when it, you know, opens up and you try to unlock it, it does that little click. You can, it's like, it feels like it's grabbing the blade. Uh -huh. It's called lockstick. And a lot of makers now is putting the lock bar inserts in them to keep it steel to steel, not titanium to steel. Okay. So more than likely, I don't know if you, if you have a, um, a magnet. Uh, put a magnet on this and see if it sticks. It don't stick to titanium. So if it sticks to that, you know it's a fake because they don't put steel um, steel sides on it. Real striders, they put titanium sides on it. So try a magnet. If a magnet um, sticks to that, okay. it's, it's definitely, you I know it's fake because you, right. you, you got it as a fake. I paid like 25 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that, strider, that strider, to me, that pattern is a good feeling knife. I like hang. the way it looks and the way it feels. <clears throat> That's what drew me in. And a lot of people, uh, you know, that's that's a, uh, you know, not to get too, I ain't using the word political here, but um, the uh, a lot of people have really frowned upon what they call those clones right. because they, they think that's stealing, which it is. They're, it they're is. Steal. But, but another argument that, that is is okay, if you can't buy a five hundred dollar knife and you never will buy a five hundred dollar knife, how is buying the fake one that's thirty or forty? going to keep you from buying the real one because you're you can't afford it you know? right you're never going to buy it as long as you're not passing it off it's yes. a real one yeah yeah you now you know a lot of the what the bad thing is flea markets and stuff they right. will they will put them out there as real ones and sell them for three four hundred dollars well that's where it becomes wrong and you get them right. for 25 bucks yeah that's, that's, that's where it yeah. becomes yeah right if you're going to buy it and keep it in your collection and you never plan on you know, like all those gateway knives you know you you get them in you're like oh man i really like this i'm going to save and get a real strider right mm -hmm. and that could get them a sale one day right know, to see yeah if you like it yeah i really like this one Method. yeah it was this it was such a hoss that's a knockoff too. Yeah, that's a knockoff too. Yeah, uh, they make a fixed blade one like that too. And I can that's definitely tell this is still real Medford's or titanium, which is a lot lighter. Um, mm -hmm. This right here, a magnet will stick to that because that okay. is extremely heavy. See the weight to mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Uh, this this clip right here is uh, absolutely fake. You you cannot. Uh, they don't they don't make uh, Medford's with that clip. Okay. Um, so it's. Mm -hmm. He's had he's had that knife in the real. Oh, I've had, had multiple of the real ones. Two or three of them real. Yeah, I've got this knife real. They call this the uh, the uh, the tie, which would be the thick boy, uh, which this one is. They they run eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars in a real. One. Oh my goodness! Uh, right, so I, I won't ever I won't ever get one of those. <laughs> so this one's yeah, you can feel the weight on that. Mm -hmm. So yes. titanium is a lot, yeah, a lot light, lighter. lighter. Man, that's a heavy. I'd hate to carry that thing yeah, around. You pull your yeah. shorts down. Right? You have to wear suspenders if you carry that one in your pocket. <laughs> yeah. have, you, have you seen it, Wade? Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've been able to reel one. Wow, and that's a fake Medford. Med Medford. Medford. Yeah. That's a Medford Praetorian. Praetorian. Uh, the, the, the T is the thinner one. The tie is the thicker one. Okay. This is like a, supposedly a copy of a Russian. Uh, um, Russian knife with a bear on it. Yep, that's a... Um, uh, Shira Gorov Brothers, Gorov. Yep. Axis Lock. That's what it's what the guy told me. But yeah, that was, uh, the real one or these started around probably eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! Yeah. It's a Russian. And, yeah, yeah. Russian Shira Gorovs are very expensive. The real ones. So they're actually made in Russia. The real ones. Yes, the real ones. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. In China. Yeah. Oh, this is definitely Chinese. I see copies them off. All those real companies hate them. <laughs> yeah. 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 And what what knife is it that they're faking now? The name of it knife? Shara Goroff. Shara Goroff. Huh. 
Bobby Doll. There's so many fakes out there, ain't there? I know it's scary. Yeah. And this is, is a I paid about 25 bucks for this spider coat. It came in a spider coat box. This comes in a sleeve. It's got the. Yeah. It's got you can just tell work. the color though, can't oh, yeah. you? The color is definitely off. It's got like a little spider coat letter. Yeah, in see it. here. Yeah. We'll pull out here and we'll do a comparison. That's the real one. Right there. Is that the pair of three? Pair two. Yes, yeah, pair, pair of two. Military. I know, but I mean, see, that's that right. one there is a pair of three? No, this is They're a both two. Pair two. Yeah. See, that's the fake color. Yep. And this is the real color. Okay. See how that is? Because I've had that for probably five years, so they could have changed the color in the yeah. last five years. But. Yeah, there's a. I there's, mean, that one on the right, right there, that the darker markings, one, that's real. Yeah. yeah they're this one here is not real. That, Matt, no. That's not real. And they, uh, did you ever snug it up or it came that way tight? Because, no, I didn't do anything. All right, we'll see how it don't drop. Yeah, try it out. Yeah. You can do a spotty flick on that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. Do that spidey flick that you do. All right. Watch me do a fail. I, I hate the lanyard. But they, uh, I was in the way for that. Oh, yeah. I can't do that to save my life. Okay. I, can't, uh, I can't get it under it. You, you I'm just trying. get that middle finger. I'm afraid I'm going to catch my... Right behind your finger and I'll get it right behind that little meat and just push forward. Yeah. <laughs> I want to practice it. I'm going to come back with my nub cut off. And then, you, and, and then you flick it with your thumb, too. You just... What's yeah. it called? Spidey flip? Spidey flick. Spidey flick. Spidey flick. Here, you want to get those mixed up? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 that's my baby doll right here. Right. I mean, this literally is my baby doll right here. Well, you got another one coming. You got you got this pair of three coming sooner or later. You wait uh, I hope so. Matter of fact, I got a pair of three right here. I can't here, wait to see it. It ain't like that one. It ain't, it ain't camo. Here's a couple of Kershaw's. Fake ones? No, these are real. Oh. <laughs> that, that's all of the fake ones. Okay. I just, I just knew he knew a lot about them. He could yeah, explain the he does. He picked up on that one that I had fake was fake. Oh, I, I seen it on video. Yeah. I instantly knew it was yeah. not real. We'll talk more about that, too. Yeah, this knife coming up here, I can tell you already, that's a nice knife. Right see, yeah, that grooves. You got that Gerber with the finger yeah. grooves. And I, I remember I, I had this uh, Kershaw with the finger grooves. Wow. That is so beautiful. That is that's nice. That feels great. Yeah, that is a nice. Model. What model is that? Japan. I mean, does it have a model number on it? Because I might look for me one. Yeah, uh, Kershaw. Is that that the steel ten fifty? Or is that the model? That might be the model number. Model number. This, yeah. model, this, this little one is this little one is ten forty. Okay, yeah, that's the model. Yeah. That. I love that too. It's got the wood handle. Did you get those near the same time or wholly different? Totally different. Just, I love that little the jimping on the mm -hmm. back of the blade too. Very cool. This love one that. definitely looks like it has different. This is Animal shiny, material, yeah. smooth. That's that looks like that uh, synthetic. Yeah. Does that come with a sheath? Does it come with a sheath? I think you probably did originally yeah. have to. You know right and that's, there? Yeah, now you in your world you might not want to do it, but that right there would shine up like gold. Yeah, it will. Both of them would. Yeah, I may have to put a. Yeah, Are they from the the nineties, eighties? Probably eighties. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. They, they make a fixed blade like that too. I think. Do they really? The finger grooves. Yeah, just uh. They also make you just what you just said, fixed blade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that would polish up. And look that's pretty. Yeah. yeah, I got that from my brother years ago. For seven dollars. Oh my god! I, I went over to his house and he was working on a car. He was taking the windshield off a car and he was scraping the rubber and glue off of the off the windshield with this knife. Oh my god! And, and, and he set it down. And I picked it up. I said, "Man, I kind of like that knife." You know? I said, "I said, well, where'd you get it?" He said, "Well, a friend of mine found it in a parking lot oh, and Lord. gave it to me." And I said, "Man, that seems like too nice of a knife to be scraping glue with and stuff." I said, "How much you want for it?" He said. Seven dollars. I said, I "Why seven dollars?" He said, "Why not? Why not?" I said, well, "Let me just sold. Here's let, ten. Let me just find you seven dollars right here. Eat the change. Yeah, why not? Right? Yeah. Why not? So, anyway, I'm always just like that one. And this here is a uh, a blackjack knife. Oh. Yeah, they, they, I don't even know if they're still in business or not. It looks good. You got the ace of spades and the jack of spades on it. Yeah, they used to make copies of Randall knives too, like really? fixed blades. Mm -hmm. but that's like called a mamba, I guess because it's got the black skin. Like yeah, that. I like that. Snakes, that's a nice, nice, nice feeling knife. knife. That's yeah. a very nice knife like this. 
Yeah, I it, love it. It's a hard dollar knife than you it's think it's a heavy it too. too. It's, it's an older knife. It's probably from the eighties too. A mamba. I Never. would think that would uh, come in a probably a sheath originally, maybe. Because yeah. they don't have a pocket clip. I've never I'm, seen I one. I wouldn't doubt that that's not 150. Big old thumb studs on that, ain't it? It might be. Mm -hmm. That's well made there. Have so you seen it? Wait, sir. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to hold it, though. That's a nice one. See those black jacks. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 man. That is a real. That's a hoss, ain't it? Yeah, an original deal there with black jacks. That, that, that's a high dollar. Man. They used to make real pretty copies of the Randall number one with the McCarla handle. Uh huh. Yeah, I Never heard of that place. company. Look, Never look heard of that blue. Look at this. Yeah, I like that. that blade, yeah, I like them big old thumb studs on there. And the big bolsters back here. It's almost like a guard. It's, it's almost like a guard. And lock back, my lord, that's a beautiful knife. It kind of reminds me of the old original saws when they first come out. Yeah. With the, with the fancy bolsters. I, I, I remember the first saw. I ever saw them. You had one. Yeah, I saw them. Well, that thing would just flip out there. Uh-huh. Probably about the same period of time because of that rubber rubber grip and uh -huh. fog had the same same uh -huh. thing on there. But that is a beautiful knife. It is. It is. It might stick coming out of your pocket, you know. But, but yeah, I guess that's probably before they started putting a lot of yeah. uh, clips on pocket clips. And you brought that for me, didn't you, Eric? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> gotta yeah. watch him. You gotta watch Dream him. Dream on, right? Uh, Anything can happen, man. You gotta watch him. And this here, this is a, a Gerber Applegate Fairburn uh, folder. Yes, sir. I've got one of those. The, and they make a fixed blade version of that. It's got the signatures of the Rick's Applegate. He was like an OSS guy. Or, yeah. I mean, they're, they're both were generals, right? Nick? They're, they're, they're both high ranking knife. Design knife you ever seen one of them? Yeah, stuff. I bought yeah. the same knife. It was uh, the one that's a little bit shorter. I call it the medium size one because they have, I think, three different sizes. Um, in actually, um, uh, Sharana, Afghanistan, on, wow. on the base in wow. Sharana, Afghanistan. That's so and cool. They had, they had some Gerbers and they had bench maids in there, and I bought that Gerber. Hmm. I actually have one of these at home. Very cool. They're great knives. I found mine in a pawn shop in Perry. Bought wow. two of them. Twenty dollars a piece. That was years ago. That was when we were working at Park. You remember that? Yeah, yes, sir, right. Yes, sir, right. Twenty dollars a piece. That's a hundred. That's a hundred twenty-five. I know. I, I I gave one of my oldest son, Nick. Yeah, yeah. Combat folks. I think that yeah, that, that knife was designed there by the people that that know what it was designed for. Yeah, right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, it's very neat. Like, like with that, when I saw that knife, it made my memory of that knife instantly. Um, of man, I remember buying one at this location at this spot. Yeah. Where it just it brings yeah. all the knives. Like when you get them, it brings back memories. It of does. Where you got them from where you were at, what you were doing. It does. I got. I couldn't. I, I, couldn't, I had to bring some pretty knives too. Just a few of them. This is one of my favorites. I'm sure Wade will recognize this. Ooh. It's, Man, a, it's pretty. It's, oh, yeah. a, it's a K bar dog <coughs> head box car <coughs> riddler, they call it. I love that stag on it. I've, I've heard about that one, but I never saw it until now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty one. It's got three uh, hey. blades on it. You know, one long one and then two short ones on the other side. Is, I love that yeah. bone. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that's the coffin. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's the coffin design. Coffin. Yeah. Um, Carolina that's the, the design is the coffin. Uh -huh. Carolina and I but will be it, all over this. Uh, a witness. A coffin <laughs> witness. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got another one that's got just uh, brown bone handles and no, it doesn't have a dog head on it. But it's got the embellishment on the bolsters. Do you um? A box car do you have any of the gold dog heads at all? I think gold? I got one maybe. Oh, it's a little bitty one. Okay. Uh, so you see the three that, blades, the, gold, the two um, blades on one end, yeah. and then the one the blade up one. on the yep. <laughs> by itself on the other end. That's a beautiful knife, Kevin. Yeah, that is a pretty one. Yeah, this is something you put on display. Yes. That knife originally came from Douglas, Georgia. How's that? At a pawn shop in Douglas, Georgia. What? Wow. What shield is that right there? What's on this? They, the they call it the dog head. Dog, dog head. head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cable. Yeah, the old K-bar. The old original keyboard had the dog head. Okay, I didn't know shield, that. You know, like acorn shield or police bad shield. Wow. That was um, keyboard. Bomb shield. Yeah, yeah. 
that, that was Kmart's that real nice. deal back in the day, like like Bremerton had the bullet shield, you know. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. and, and that was I didn't know that. Now. I didn't know that. And the, the yeah. Kmart dog heads is that same the era of time. Here. Okay. That's pretty nice. I got, I got one left. Thank you. This is a, God, a shrade. Lead. Class Reed. I was about to say case. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah. too. Oh my goodness! It's a, it's a national national knife collector. collector association museum founders knife from 1980. But I mean, look at look at the stag. Wow! Oh, Lord, look how thick it is. Yeah, it's really thick. Ain't that Great something? That's beautiful. Look at that right there. Man, that's pretty. What year is that? 1980. 1980. 1980. That's ten years old. Yeah, the, <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah, the National Knife Collectors Association. They had like a knife every year for so many years. I don't think they do it anymore. Let me see. And then the museum. I guess they were raising money for the museum or something, and they made some for the museum. I, 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 <laughs> stag, I picked up a few of them most of the years. There's a doctor that's in our knife club. Wow. He had all that stuff, and he he was selling some of his stuff off. Nice. The blue scroll. Yeah. What, what year is the blue scroll? 77? 77, I think. 77 blue scroll, yeah. and then a regular, uh, what did he call it? A razor? Production. Kit? Yeah, regular razor production. edge. Razor edge. Yeah. yeah. And both stag. Well, that was what, 90 or 80? The blue scroll and then the razor edge. That's beautiful. You want to look at it, Way? No, I got, I've got I've seen them. I've okay. seen them. Those are chunks. Yeah, beautiful. It's a chunk. You ain't talked them out of that one yet, Wade? Huh? You ain't talked them out of that one yet? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have drawer. learned one thing. <laughs> when Mr. Eric gets something, uh -huh. you don't talk him out of much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, keep a I pull that one on. time and I think I even I regret it. <laughs> yeah. but, yeah. This ain't much, Eric, but I picked it up and I thought of you. I don't know if you got one or not. Oh yeah, one of those uh, little carry knives. Farm hands. Oh yeah. That's one of the ones you won't have to worry about messing up. <laughs> and it locks. Right. Slot blade, yeah. pocket clip. And to look at the pocket clip, it's a deep, deep set. See it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice size too. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of like the uh, case uh, June, June, Junior Sidebuster, but it's I yeah. like that design because it uh, it locks and it's got a, a, a pocket clip. That I wish Case would do something. Very nice like that. carry knife. Yeah, very yeah. nice. They they come up with a good thing there. Baron Son did. Yeah, yeah. Right. Very, and sidebusters are closed up on them. Yeah, yeah. careful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's all you got, buddy. That's all I got. And that's all you got. That's all I got, except for my pocket knife. You want to see, let's, let's see what you're carrying today? I got a beautiful uh, knife, crazy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slip. I don't know if I've shown this in the four nine. It's, it's a case gun stock. Boy, that's a beautiful knife. That's a centennial. It, it's a centennial. That's why I can pull it that way. Yeah, watch that big main blade. 1989. There we go. How about that? <laughs> that's better. Yeah. Is, that, uh, is that considered a large gun stock or is that the normal size that's, gun that's stock? That's the large gun stock. Oh. So they do make a smaller one than that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little, 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 little bit. Yeah, a little smaller gun. I love that bone. Yeah, it's it's like a strawberry. Yeah, I love that strawberry colored bone. Yeah. That's actually what it's called. Strawberry it? bone. Strawberry bone. I love it. The whole content, they had 100 knife patterns mm -hmm. in 1989 for, for every year that case existed. It was seen 1889. Okay. And, and then they did 100 patterns of case knives in that complete set. And it come in a leather. A leather display package. Well, I'll be done. All 100 knives of it in there. When it comes with knives like this, like what I would call, I mean, I know this is not old, old. How many kind of knives like this do you have? That's not like real old, like normal yeah. case type knives. Mm -hmm. You know, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, I don't have a ton of them. You don't, you don't get into that? I've got a lot of club knives. You know, since I joined the knife club, some of the guys will, will sell off some of their extra ones. Okay. And I'll p pick up, try to get the whole set, because I probably won't ever get the whole set. And well, what club is that you're probably The Oak Muggy. Oh, that's right. Oak yep. Muggy Knife Collector. Mm -hmm. And they're making them. Yeah. And they, they get a, a club knife made every year. I'll bring some another time. It's yeah. Because it's got the, you know, it, it says it on the blade. And those knives might be one of 50. Or Did one I hear, of, somebody says something about, are they, they're not making a case, they're doing a different brand now. Is that Eastern. Yep. Eastern Cutlery. Great Eastern Cutlery. Yeah, yeah the last few they've gotten have been Great Eastern Cutlery because they, they, uh, Great Eastern makes, yeah, I got the last few. 
they make they make us a good price on them. In, in fact, they'll even offer some if they have over ruins. They'll, they'll it, they didn't have say up Muggy River on there. They'll uh, they'll I'll say hey, y'all want these and. What do you mean by the last reasonable. few, like the last few years they've done it? Is that what you mean? Yeah, the last, maybe the last three years the, the, our club now has been wow. Great Eastern Cutlery. You and know, you've got all three of those. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've seen a Great Eastern Cutlery that I've got my own. It's probably going to be my first one. Deep South Cutlery has it on display in there. But it's like a barlow knife, but it opens up with a single blade, and half of it is blade, and half, the other part of it is a, a bottle opener. Okay. Very cool knife. Hmm, yeah, like a camp knife. Yeah, that's why I, I, I want it. It's got that single blade, part of its blade, and the other part is the the, the bottle opener. Hmm. That's yeah, the Grayson Cutlery star. You know, case knives are fantastic. They're they're highly collectible. But when you start getting the Grayson Cutleries, those are small batches, very expensive, very yeah. sought after. I, I can get that one from them for two thirty. Yeah, and that's that's and a seal. Yeah, that's, it's like a the, white going rate. It's like a white bone. I, I asked him could they get one in stag, but but he said like you, he said they're hard to get. You know, you never know what you can get when when they can buy them. You know, uh, guys, that's my take on the uh, the meet up friend lunch with friends. So uh, now, Mr. Matt is going to be filming me and Mr. Wade, and y'all can view that on Knife Crazy. So y'all be sure to go and check that out and check out Carolina Knives too. That's his son Crawford. So we're fixing to hand over the torch, so so to speak, to Mr. Matt. We're here at Strippers down here at uh, Lake Blackshire, Georgia. We're going to go in here and get some uh, beef jerky. We got the best meat around. Pretty meat, man. Thank you. How you doing today? Doing good, sir. Awesome. Got all kinds of charcoal that you want down through there. Myron mixing the barbecue king. He just ain't never cooked off against me. Better nut cake. That's pretty right now. It looks good. Let's sell Yeti stuff. Lodge cast iron made in the USA. Hurrah. Yeah. It's a very, very cool chain of stores here. I think there's one in Perry, Georgia. There's one in Warwick, Georgia. I love these stores. Hey, hey, can I get a pound of your uh, beef jerky, jerky mm -hmm. fresh, please, ma'am? It's right there. That stuff's so good, good and tender. Love it. Oh, really? I love it, but I don't like too much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Really, I always try to get me some every time I'm around a stripling store. We sell the heck out of it. Yes, ma'am. Now, um... We do have a website that you can go on. Uh-huh. And um order it by order fresh? It. Yes, sir. Really? I didn't know you could order the fresh. Right there? Let's see that. Yes, sir. So you so you can actually order it you fresh. Can order anything you want off that website. Well, that'd be dull. And and they, they and they'll they'll ship it mm -hmm. to you straight to your house, huh? Everything comes fresh. So y'all got six locations. Yes, sir. One in Athens. I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. Tifton, Brunswick. Maybe not. Maybe maybe the, the, the Bogart one is near Athens. Yeah. Pretty cool. One second. Awesome. Appreciate you sharing this car. No problem. That's, that's going to be it for our little friends group uh meet up and lunch it was great to meet matt for the first time hope to see him again here real soon uh but anytime i'm near a strip lunch, guys i'm gonna stop in and get some beef jerky and like she said if y'all want to order straight from the website and get it delivered to y'all's house y'all need to try it it's that fresh get the fresh don't get the ones that's in the vacuum seal pack uh delicious it's real really really good
but it's about like you're eating a steak. Very tender and seasoned really good. Anyway guys, don't forget to check out part two over on Knife Crazy. I will be showing some knives and uh and Mr. Wade will be showing some knives. So uh some outstanding knives too. So hope y'all tune in over there. Anyway guys, tell Matt hello. Uh, he'll like that. Thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. Three markets, pawn shops, antique stores. Searching for treasure, always room for more. With Wade and Eric, Lamar and Glenn, we talk and trade where the stories never end.